What's up, YouTube, you guys? Oh, sorry if I sound... I am tired today. Been up for just a little bit. It's only... It's about, like, almost 8. Really kind of wish I would have left a little earlier, but... It's okay. It's about an hour, hour and a half drive to the lake I'm going on. My first ice fishing adventure of, of this year... I'm super excited to get on the ice. I am going alone. Usually it's not something I suggest or will do, but it's in the middle like the middle of the week and it's my day off, so and I will really want to get on the ice. And I've been seeing people just crush the perch and everything. So I need to get on the action. I have to do it. Um I've been watching this lake a lot in the last like week or two. Um it's been it's been safe for a couple weeks now. It's going to be about 30s there, so I'm not too worried about that. And, of course, I'll be checking and everything. Um, you be got to be careful when it's, you know, early January and you're ice fishing, especially alone. Um, I'll go to lakes that you know are safe, people fished on, and you're going to be safe. In. And there's a resort there and everything like that, so there's people, people nearby. So uh, we're going to have a good time. We might stop by McDonald's. I usually don't do that, like, ever. But their uh, hash brown kind of sounds good and like a Coke. So I think we're going to do that. But next time you guys talk to me, hopefully we'll be there or almost. Let's get it. over here um, I'm pretty sure I have to pay to park and everything like that so I'm gonna run in and uh, ask them what the deal is I do know they're open I really like these people I've talked to them lots because I've stayed here lots uh, ask them what they know about people catching fish out there and see where I should park and we're gonna get to it okay let's get it I think I left it down there Grab it. Oh, there it is. Looking for a bag. Alright, so we ended up not going straight to Beaver Lodge. Um, we actually went across and there's like a big old parking lot and everything. As you can see, uh, the only one out here today, it looks like. There might be some people that are actually staying at Beaver Lodge, which we thought about doing uh, in a week or two. So we got a couple things. Well, that's for Erica. I'm definitely gonna put to use today, and I've actually never done it. We got um some toe warmers or a whole foot warmer. Honestly, up to nine hours of heat. I think I'm gonna start to just put the full foot warmer on. I think I'm just gonna do that. Oh yes, you can't see me. I think I'm just gonna do the full foot warmer because I already have cold feet and I'm gonna be out in the snow in a uh, nice so I think that's what we're gonna do. What else? I think everything's basically loaded into the sled already. Already, you just gotta go trucking out there and go find something. I'm super excited, you guys. Everybody, uh, this is gonna be hard now. And everybody was telling me about like 20, 25 feet is where the perch are kind of hanging out. Um, I also heard a couple other lakes about 12, 15 feet is where some trout are hanging out. I don't know about this lake though. So we're gonna see if we can find them and hopefully get on them. And this is gonna be amazing, you guys. I can't wait. Let's go get out on the ice.
Got this slid. Oh! It's so cool how, how cool the whole fishing community is. Random guy pulled up, we talked for about 10-15 minutes about it. It's just cool how the fishing community is not half the time, not dicks to each other, but anyways, let's get out on the ice. fish finder a couple fish on the fish finder at the last spot but nothing at this one so and I went in closer to shore but we actually went deeper so I must have just hit a little hole here not really what I was wanting um, there's a rock point to my left that I think by like 130 if I don't even see any fish on the finder We're gonna head towards that because I don't want to be out here super late. Show you guys what I got on. So, if it stops spinning ever. Oh, it's enough. So, we got on one of the rods. And it's a, it's a jigging wrap. Jigging wrap by Rapala. It's a really cool. So you jig it up. That's my finger. You jig it up and it goes in circles. Actually, like well, not like that. It'll swim in circles. So basically, what we're doing just for have a moving and then on the other rod, we have some worms and some mealworms. So we night crawl and a mealworm mix. <laughs> We're on. Yep, there's one. We got one on. We got one on. There it is. First fish of the day. There we go. There we go. First little bow. Beautiful colors on that. Wow, look at that, you guys. There we go, you guys. First one. First one. You know what? We're going to let this guy go. Hopefully, we catch another one. We'll eat that one. I'm going to let that go, though. Smoked it, you guys. Like I said, a couple mealworms. You can pick up that thing right there. How many millworms is this? 500 millworms. It's like it's like eight bucks at uh, PetSmart. So and I so I buy these because I have a, a leopard gecko at home. And then all I was doing. All I did. Worm.
All right, really fast, you guys. I just uh, was doing a little bit of, you know, editing and everything, and I realized that I never uh, did an outro for that video. I do know when my cameras are dying and everything like that, so I figured I'd do one now that we're home. Uh, yeah, so we only caught one fish. It's whatever, I mean, that happens. Uh, it's still a great day. I mean, first time on the ice. You never know what to expect, especially on the new lake, but I was able to get out there, um, have some fun, catch a fish, so. All right, guys, all we need to do we got the TikTok below. We got the uh, Instagram below. We got the Facebook below. Make sure you you follow us on everything, you guys. We got uh, content coming out on everything. So make sure you follow us and hit that sub button. Hit that like button below. And follow. More content coming. You guys have a good one.